Comic book fans, welcome back to the Mostly Indies channel, the one working diligently to become your first and favorite resource for creator-owned and independent comic reviews and news. My name is Mo Baybordy, and I've been itching to bring you a review of yet another exciting new series from Image Comics. Let's talk about Emma Rios and Hue Lim's Mirror, number one. Still so early on in my YouTube comic book reviewing journey, I'm already seeing some unintended benefits to my own personal reading experiences. Now, that includes a selection and uh, eventual appreciation and high regard for a series such as Mirror. Now, if I were to take a quick 10 second uh, cursory flip through at a comic book shop, um, not sure if I would have loved the what what felt to me a, a lean towards the primary colors. The, the color palette didn't jump out at me. The art style looked uh, looked consistent, but I'm not sure if it was uh, my favorite. Um, and you see talking animals. I mean, there's there's plenty there to be a little hesitant about for me. I know I don't speak for everyone, but there's got to be a certain number of people out there that they see a talking bear, rat, and cat in 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 just a quick flip through, they might be a little hesitant. But I'm really glad that I pulled this one for review. I've really fallen for the way that this that this story is is being presented, both with the script and the art. Um, I mean, just take a look at you know what the art department here is capable of with with this cover alone I mean this wouldn't have have given me any uh, reason for uh, for hesitation here this wraparound cover it's easily one of the better covers I've seen period and I certainly hope they continue with this or or, or do this a few more times at least in the series if they do this for every book um, that, this is a this is a great uh, addition to that the the growing list of things that I'm curious about and excited about with this series so as far as the synopsis goes we'll do a synopsis a character rundown and a little information about the, the where and the when um, all without spoiling uh, the book for you guys I, I want you guys to read this number one don't jump in at number two uh, and and honestly don't don't hang on uh, waiting to see where this one goes uh, any longer uh, go in and grab number two uh, snag number one if they if they've still got it this series is a fantasy tale it is English in tone um, that stately kind of English vibe and 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 dress uh, in, in places I, I suppose um, and it seems poised to uh, prominently feature themes of loyalty, of friendship and love, of war and revolt. Uh, where does it take place? Uh, this uh, is a little mind-blowing. When you get to the last page, there's a diagram and a timeline all in one page to give you a little background about where we're at and what the, what the, what the timeline of the main events, uh, even that you, that you might not see here. This is a colony on an asteroid. So the asteroid is named Urza, I-R-Z-A-H, and uh, that's the name of the asteroid. The colony is, is named the same. This is Urza Colony. This colony is uh, constructed around a rocket ship uh, that does not look anything like a rocket ship on the outside. It looks almost like a, a very a gloriously uh, architected church and the spires. It's, it, this is a huge ship. This has a, a crew of a, a military crew uh, and all the, all the cabins and quarters and, and whatnot inside of it. This is this is a, 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 a city of a rocket uh, that has landed here on this asteroid and the main motivations of the characters uh, primarily uh, that we see in this first book, uh, a gentleman named Kaz, uh, his main motivation is to learn more about the majestic creatures, uh, animals that are in this area where they've landed. His goal is to use the magical 
powers of uh, Ivan, uh, who when the when the book opens up uh, is a young boy, and then the, the the first book even advances thirty years to him being a man. Um, Ivan has uh, uh, magical uh, powers and is uh, kind of teamed up, uh, probably uh, surely reluctantly, um, with Kaz or Kazbek uh, in Kaz's mission to uh, create essentially the ultimate uh, soldier, a uh, group, group of soldiers from this uh, manipulation of these animals and some of which seem to be kind of hybridized with with humans and so I don't think you know we're not talking about mating here as much as we're talking about creating so it doesn't doesn't get into that um, but that's that's why they're there uh, you don't see any wars taking place on uh, Urza so I don't know where home is to uh, the folks who have who have landed here um, and they've only been there 35 years. 35 year 35 is real time in this story. So uh, you know I have to be careful here what I uh, what I present to you guys to to, to pique your interest and, and and what I give away that would that would maybe uh, tell you too much. So um, there is a a deep friendship bordering on love, lo not bordering on love, but a deep friendship and love between. Um, the the boy that I that I spoke about Ivan who is also a uh, you you see as a man in the story and his dog who he either uh, voluntarily or reluctantly used um, his magical uh, skills to um, animate her in a more human way she is like a human uh, slash dog um, and they continue to uh, regard each other highly love each other. And there's kind of a struggle there between Ivan and Kaz's side, and then uh, her side, which her name is uh, Senna, and uh, even a quick little flashback in the book to uh, some sort of a revolt or or, or uh, struggle between uh, that group, you know, the house, which is the colony that that landed there and uh, these, these more magical creatures, either the ones that were already there on the Urza asteroid or the ones who have since been uh, created and maybe escaped. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but there, there's, a, there's issues there with loyalties. I mean, the, the complexity of a character like Kazbek, I really appreciate his complexity because they show him as a very compassionate person his uh, his arm is being twisted by you know the powers that be in the house. Um, presumably nowhere to be seen here. They are on Urza uh, in this Urza colony uh, on a mission. Again, I don't know where home is, but Kaz is is torn in this way. He he doesn't seem to take any real pleasure at all in uh, his need for Ivan to perform uh, this magic for him. But you do see um, kind of a, uh, a bit of a stalemate in the, in the regard of, of, of love between Ivan and Senna as a result of all of these um, events that have transpired. With this only being a 30 or so page first installment in the Mirror series, I should stop here and not give out any other details that would potentially uh, ruin your enjoyment of, of reading through this first issue. Just to mention about you know the, these uh, these creators, the writer of the primary story, Emma Rios, and the artist, Tway Lim. I think it's awesome. We've got another female team here. That's two for two for me. Unintentional, but hey, whatever. Uh, I think it's great. These both of these stories have been great. These two and this creative team, they flip, and there is a, uh, I don't know if they refer to it as an alternate story, but there is a there is another um, angle to this story that you're seeing at the end of, I presume, uh, every book in this series. I definitely hope every book in this series. So in this first book, there's three pages at the end where the roles have changed from writer to artist. and. Um, in an interview that I read online, it basically said that uh, you know by by their account, 
this experience has really helped them to develop and further develop the nuance of certain characters and to just uh, be closer uh, creatively as, as a team on this story and be in lockstep. So that's really cool. And I can't say enough about those last three pages, um, the way that the um, art is done. It's uh, composed, it's just one big page really with multiple instances of the same character and the dialogue kind of moving in like a Z pattern I think for two for two out of the three pages and you, your eye just kind of follows that and it's, it's in a lot of ways better than the traditional uh, layout. The script even in those pages, I don't know if it's because maybe they uh, we're so worried about uh, rising to the to the occasion for uh, that respective role that they just put a lot of thought into it or what, but it's so poetic, it's so creative, and just impactful overall. Well, I doubt I'm alone in my excitement over issue number two of Mirror coming this Wednesday, March 23rd, digitally and in comic book shops. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a beautiful book. I'm sure it's going to be beautifully written just like number one was. Uh, just like our other female team, uh, Monstrous, number four just came out. If you guys haven't seen the Monstrous 1 through 3 review and synopsis that I did uh, for this channel, um, I'll try to put a link up here somewhere. Uh, one of those YouTube card links to try and take you out to that. Please check that out if you haven't. Love the interaction. Love the interaction on the Twitter page, which uh, just got a thousand followers while I was taping this. So that's exciting. Uh, looking forward to this growth um, of this channel uh, because really what that means is more fun for all of us. I really love uh, the interactions that I've had with you guys so far, uh, especially on Twitter. Uh, watch for all the contests. I like surprising you guys with uh, flash contests. Uh, giving stuff away is absolutely fun, so we're going to continue that. Keep it right here to Mostly Indie. Subscribe, turn your notifications on, and we'll definitely see you soon. Thanks, guys. I don't understand